everyone, I'm Adriana Michelle from adrianamichelle.net and today I am focusing on relationship anxiety. Now this is something that I do suffer from and I've done a lot of research on the topic lately to understand and learn more about it. I came across a discussion post and I want to be able to share it with you guys because it describes me and others who suffer from the, from the relationship anxiety pretty much perfectly. And although I have edited it to describe my own personal experiences, you can see the original posting on adrianamichelle.net. The link will be in the posting above or in the comment box below. Now let's get into it. Derived from general anxiety disorder, relationship anxiety is an unofficial diagnosis, but it is very common in today's relationships. Some of the symptoms and behaviors include the following. Excessive or inappropriate jealousy, either being overly needy or clingy, or being aloof and disinterested. A constant need for reassurance from their partner, testing their partner, push-pull behavior, a pattern of disrupting and reestablishing closeness in a relationship without appropriate cause or reason. Emotional volatility or impulsivity, shaking, insomnia, muscle tension, feelings of depression, sweating, bracing, or excessive thoughts. Now here are some of the factors contributing to relationship anxiety. Negative early dating experiences going back to adolescence, insecure attachment with primary caregiver during infancy or childhood, self-loathing, a particularly extreme form of low self-esteem, fear of intimacy, anxiety over allowing oneself to be emotionally vulnerable, and fear of rejection. Again, I am someone who suffers from relationship anxiety, and I've only come to realize this recently with the help of therapy and analyzing and recognizing the patterns of my previous relationships over the years. Now, often people with relationship anxiety would rather be in relationships than not be in one. But when we are involved with someone, the anxiety sabotages the relationship because issues of doubts, insecurities, and fears are viciously telling us that the relationship is either doomed or will be doomed. We always question whether we love the person that we are with or if that person loves us and we need the constant validation, assurance, and control. Even when we do receive the, the assurance, validation, and control, we never truly feel safe. We continue the cycle and allow our fears to damage not only our relationship, but our self-esteem, our confidence, security, and perspective on what relationship should be. I wanted to be able to raise awareness for this topic because for many years I thought I was the only one who experienced this and I felt like nobody understood me. The relationships that I was truly invested in always took this wild turn for me to the point of where the anxiety was almost debilitating. I would end up severely depressed, uh, have major panic attacks, wouldn't have any motivation to fulfill my own needs. And there was a point when I was 14 years old where my body couldn't handle the stress, so I would involuntarily throw up on a regular basis. Time, praying, and therapy were the only things that helped me better the situation. Now, over the years, my body grew strong enough to handle the anxiety, so it was never as intense, but still the depression, the fears, anxiety attacks, and the excessive thoughts and neediness still occurred. It was horrible. If you are or have experienced any of these symptoms in the context of relationships, I want you to know that there's hope. Now, here are some tips that have worked for me and for others when dealing with relationship anxiety. Number one, therapy. Therapy is an amazing source of healing and self-discovery. All I'm going to say about this is just trust me and do it. Therapy is amazing. Number two, communication. I know it can be difficult, but always communicate your needs, concerns, and wants. Don't be demanding, but allowing that person to understand you is a great way of easing your anxiety. It keeps you from guessing less and knowing more, which is what we thrive for. Number three, patience. This is extremely difficult to achieve. I am still learning to be patient without panicking and allowing negative thoughts to consume me when I am in a relationship, but we can do this. Number four, understanding. As frustrating as it is for you, it is equally frustrating for the other person. The constant worries, 
the anxiety, the frustrations, the neediness, the fears, the insecurities, these emotions all affect the other person as well. And if you don't think it's fun dealing with anxiety, imagine how the other person must feel. Number five, positive self-talks and prayer. When I am in one of those moments where I feel my anxiety coming on, I take a deep breath and I self-reflect and pray. I try hard not to let the negative uh, thoughts consume me. But if and when it does happen, I try hard to replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts, also uh, Bible scriptures to move my focus towards God and his goodness. Number six is sleep. If you can't control the situation, then no matter how much you worry, it's not going to change. I just sleep and allow myself to just relax. And when I wake up, even though sometimes it's hard to, to wake up and face reality, I allow myself solitude and peace while I sleep. Number seven, work out. Take out all the anxiety and punch it in the face by having a good workout. Go home, take a nice shower, and just go on with your day. I take anxiety to the gym with me and I leave without it. If relationship anxiety is something that you struggle with or know someone who does, again, please know that you are not alone. We are in this together. There is help, hope, and healing. We just need to make a conscious effort towards it. I proclaim freedom from relationship anxiety for us all. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more videos. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to open up a discussion about this topic, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Adriana Michelle, and let's continue to live life meaningfully. Bye-bye.